Hey guys, Angel here with the Bullish Bears team. I am making the watch list video for tomorrow, March the 8th. And because it's a Friday, we're only going to be doing a daily watch list, no swing trade watch list, because we don't swing trade on weekends. So you can see that the futures was in an ascending triangle and it broke out of this angular support. It has failed the 9 EMA, the 20 EMA, and it's right at this 200 SMA. If it can't break, or if it can't hold that, ends up breaking, it's gonna have room down to this 50 SMA to fall. So we'll just have to wait and see if we're going into some bearish territory, which it looks like it could be, and I can already tell by the amount of stocks on the nightly scan that we might not have a lot of plays for tomorrow. So let's jump right into this with DFFN. Okay, so I do like this in the fact that it has broken through support and resistance. Next level of resistance would be around 10 bucks. So let's take a look at the hourly, see what the hourly is showing us. So it's bull flagging up on the hourly. It is overextended, which worries me because uh, traders could want to take their profits tomorrow with it being a Friday. If we look, it's sort of cuppish on the daily, but I do like this stock. So we'll put this one on for tomorrow. Let's see. Cupish on daily, bull flagging on hourly. Watch for resistance around $10. And that is DFFN. Let's take a look at Riot. All right, so this one, hmm, it's not overextended yet. This would have been a good one for the first half of the day. Uh, let's take a look at the hourly because it does have room up to that 200. Sort of a bull pennant on the hourly. So I'm gonna, and maybe even an inverse head and shoulders. Yeah, you can see left shoulder, head, right shoulder. If it breaks this 356, it's gonna have room to move up. All right, so I like the inverse head and shoulders on the Hourly. Inverse head and shoulders on hourly. Watch for resistance around four dollars and two hundred SMA on daily. And just remember it needs to break that three fifty level and hold. So let's take a look at REVG. Now let me see when earnings are. Earnings were today. So I'm actually not gonna put this on the list because you can see that was not a great day today. TWMC, this is also gonna be a no for me. Just rejected, rejected. So ESEA, also not going to put that on the list because look at this. It's just a big FU pattern and it's failing after hours, so I wouldn't put that on. JMU. Okay, so this is interesting. This is a bull pennant. You're going to have resistance at the top of this, which would be around 370, and then this pre-market high of 424. Let's take a look at the hourly. So it's riding the moving averages. It did close above. It's not overextended. You could say it's in a symmetrical triangle. Not a huge fan of the hourly, but I do like this bull pennant. Okay, so. Bull pennant on daily. Watch for resistance around 370 and 425. Okay, so that was JMU. 
Let's take a look at VRML. Not a big fan of the wick on this one. So this was one that you could have traded during the opening, kind of. It's kind of messy, and then it just range traded all day, so I don't like that. P-U-L-M. Nope, right between support and resistance. So let's take a look at V-I-C-L. Okay, so this one almost looks like an inverse head and shoulder. You have like a left shoulder, head, right shoulder. It's going to have resistance around 125, which is too close for me. So I'm not going to put that one on. That resistance is too close. CLMT had earnings today. No, tomorrow. Tomorrow. I'm not putting that on then. Not putting that on. No, today. Today is the 7th. I am not putting this one on. Not putting it on. RBZ, just because of earnings. Okay, so this one, not overextended yet. It's going to have resistance at 236 and 250-ish. Uh, let's take a look at this. Uh, hmm. I'm just worried that this is going to move in the after hours pre-market and then dump on when it when the market opens tomorrow. Cuz it's really overextended. I'm going to skip this one. I don't have a good feeling. Okay, TNXP. Nope. Can't even see the candlesticks on that one. T-R-O-V. Okay, so this one, potentially. I don't like that it's just popping up after hours, though. I'm not a fan of that, because then it's going to want to reverse. And is it going to do it pre-market? Is it going to do it when the market opens? It is a beautiful bull flag on the hourly, though. I'll put it on, but just be aware that it could end up rejecting tomorrow. And that's a not tomorrow, so we can't short it. Okay, so bull flag on hourly. Watch for 200 SMA resistance on daily. So that is T-R-O-V. Let's take a look at I-N-P-X. I have a feeling this can be a no. Yep, that's a no. X-O-N. Okay, so that's an easy to borrow. So, because it could potentially be bear flagging. I don't like that it's like flag pull, flag, it could bear flag down, but it's a low of 405. So I mean, I guess it does have, it does have room to fall, but it did close above moving averages. It's been trading sideways. I'm not putting it on. I don't like anything about that. TRTC, I believe that was on the watch list today, which it was a good play, good play. Good job, Lucian. <laughs> so it's too close to resistance for me. Not going to put that on. A-K-E-R. Also not going to put that on. I'm trading right between the moving averages. S-N-S-S. -S. Okay. So I do like that it moved up, held its highs on the day. Has earnings today, though, so I'm not going to put that on. I don't ever play earnings. A-V-G-R. It's trading sideways, so I wouldn't put that on. PLUG uh, earnings were today, I believe. Yeah, I don't like this. It's overextended. It could potentially be a cup and handle, but this just, I don't like it. I'm not going to force something on the watch list. A-M-R-H, because that's just not smart. Okay, so this could maybe, it would have resistance around 50 cents, although it's right at this resistance wick, 
and it couldn't break it and hold and it closed there, so that talks me out of it. A R Q L, let me see. Earnings today, you can see that is kind of an F U pattern on the day. I don't like anything about that, so I'm going to skip that. G T X I, that is big F U, also not going to put that on. So A L T, nope. This is our last one, guys. S E E L. I would not do this just because of where it's trading at within the moving averages. That's too dangerous for me, especially on a Friday when most traders are taking their profits because holding through a weekend is not the smartest thing. That's when people are closing out their options because, as you know, anything can happen over the weekend and then it's a whole new market come Monday. So you could have been bullish on something, bearish on something, and then heading into the weekend with a profit come Monday it's all gone that's why we don't recommend holding anything over the weekend that's why Fridays are big sell-off days because a lot of people like to take their profits and go because it's all about taking your profits you never go broke taking a profit so that's going to be our watch list for tomorrow these four stocks right here again we don't like to just force stocks onto a watch list we want you to actually have potentially good setups with good plays we're not about it's all about quality over quantity, and it's harder to watch a large amount of stocks. So if you're not a member, you can head over here to our website. We have under here on our subscribe, you have the monthly option where you do get the refund if you decide not to continue within a two week period, or you have the yearly, which you do not get a refund on just because we offer you our next level training library. So you have access to stuff that the monthly doesn't. That's why we don't offer a refund on it. If you sign up for a yearly, don't ask for a refund. Can you tell I kind of take care of emails? <laughs> and then we have the monthly, which is the refund within a two-week period. And guys, I have to tell you, if you really are serious about trading and you want to take this seriously, it's going to take time. So don't join and expect to be an amazing trader within two weeks or you got to get your money back. It's an investment in yourself. If you're not willing to make that investment, that's okay. But if you are, then don't give up after two weeks because you're trying to get everything for free. The best things aren't always free. Sometimes you have to make an investment in yourself. So I am a living testimony of that. I took all of these courses and now I am here making watch list videos and successfully trading, whereas two years ago, I knew nothing about trading. So I am a testimony that it works. You can join their day trade room, swing trade room, their futures room. There are live streams going on in there almost every day. I know Rose takes a Thursdays off and there's somebody in the day trade room streaming every single day. Uh, they're starting to do that within the swing trade room. They talk about options a lot just because options allow you to trade those big stocks without putting up all the money needed and you get to control 100 shares. If you're trying to control 100 shares of Amazon while paying the actual price of Amazon, you would have to have a humongous account with options. You don't. So that's why we love options and that's why we talk about swing trading options in the swing trade room a lot. Then over here with our trading, you get the trade alerts if you're a member, the watch list. There's all of this information for you under the education. And then there are the scanners. If you're a member, you get access to the live stream of the trade idea scanner. So if you're new and you can't afford it, and we recommend not buying it until it's you're serious about trading and you, it's something you can't afford just to use ours. So all in all, it's a great deal. And if you're not a member, you should subscribe. And you can follow us on Facebook. We're on Twitter. We have Instagram. We like to post memes. I know it upsets some people because they don't like memes, but memes are where it's at now. And it just helps bring a little levity into something that's serious. Plus, you get to see the different blog posts that we write with the memes included. So just take the time if you're willing to put in the effort. It's a great opportunity. It's a skill that you'll learn and no matter what is happening 
with the economy, with your job, with anything, you have a skill that can make you money if you're willing to put in the effort. It's not something where you get rich quick. It's not a gamble. It's like going to college. You have to study. You have to practice. And some of us don't like that, <laughs> but that is the way it is, especially if you want to be good. So I hope you guys like this video. If you did, then like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can get notifications whenever we post content. I know we're getting really into more of the options trading now because options, again, they're my favorite. It's a great way to make money with trading large cap stocks in a small account. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see y'all later.